Uh -huh. Another email you watch in the mailbox. This is Yusuf Estes. They're asking the question now, what about smoking? Is it haram or not? Well, smoking cigarettes, obviously, is a very bad thing. We know that today. Many studies have shown us that smoking kills people. Smoking causes cancer. It causes birth defects in children. And so, therefore, it's totally and completely haram. Not to mention the fact that it's also very addictive. It is a drug. Again, that's haram. It's a waste of money. That's also haram. But the biggest thing of all is that it's haram because of the damage that it does to people. It's not something that's permissible in Islam at all. Zero. So if you know someone is smoking, encourage them to stop as soon as possible. If you smoke, ask Allah to take away this horrible thing from you because it is a very horrible and bad habit. Okay, we've got another one that comes in. How do I share Islam with the Christians? Okay, this is pretty easy for me to tell you because you use the key word, share Islam. You can go to our website, islamnewsroom.com and type in the word share and then the word Islam. Or you can just go to the internet and type in shareislam.com and it will tell you a lot about sharing Islam with not only Christians but Jews. And Okay, we've got another one here. Okay, this is asking about, what about debating the Bible versus the Quran? I've heard people debating about this and seen videos on it. How can I learn how to debate like this and make people come to Islam? This is not valid. This is not valid at all to say that that's the way to bring people to Islam. People come into Islam because they want to be guided by Allah. When they want to be guided, Allah guides them. When they don't want to be guided, Allah won't guide them. And you debating with them about the Quran or the Bible isn't going to guide anybody. However, however, it is a legitimate topic to discuss openly what we believe about the Quran and what we believe about the Bible in a very, uh, I think, intellectual manner, but not in a way that it brings about this uh, hatred and brings about a lot of confusion amongst, well, not only the Christians, but the Muslims too. I think it's much better for us to take the time to examine the text and look at what's being offered. We have a website for that. We have BibleIslam.com, another one, 911Bible.com, and then our main website at IslamNewsroom.com. Uh, here, we've got one last one coming in. Okay. Oh, can a woman be seen without her hijab in front of non-Muslim women? As far as I know, yes. That's what it says in the Quran. Verse 31 in chapter 24. Surah An-Nur. That's out of time now. We're finished up with the mailbox for today. But until next time, peace. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa